Jeff Stein, who is indoors as well in a nice, cool studio, uh, as we continue to discuss uh, some wonderful things that have happened on this day in our great state of Iowa. And I understand we're going to the bees uh, this morning, Professor. What's going on? Well, this is an opportunity, Jackie. Good morning to you and to Lou. This is an opportunity for us to recognize an Iowan who certainly left a mark in an industry that has really become very popular among folks in uh, cities and suburbs in addition to rural areas across the country. Our subject is a man named Frank Chapman Pellet. He was born on a farm in Cass County on this day, July 12th of 1879. Frank attended schools near Atlantic, but was forced to leave school due to health reasons. At the age of 23, he moved to Salem, Missouri, and he operated a fruit farm, studied also to become a lawyer as he was doing that. But after only two years in private practice as a lawyer, he returned to his first love, namely nature and wildlife. In the spring of 1907, Frank Pellet moved with his wife and the two children they had at the time back to his home in Cass County. Even then, many of the wildflowers that were plentiful during Frank's childhood were threatened with extinction. You know, we kept paving things over. We kept uh, taking things out of production and building buildings. And that was a problem for the wildflowers. So Frank set aside an eight acre tract of native woodland as a wildflower preserve. And it's now part of what is a 20 acre Frank Chapman Pellet Memorial Woods that contains more than 120 species of plants. Quite a preservation effort. Frank Pellet was appointed Iowa's first state apiary inspector in 1912 and soon after became associated with the American Bee Journal. Who knew there was such a publication? He quickly became one of the nation's foremost authorities on beekeeping, honey plants, and other general nature and horticulture topics. He wrote 13 books, including Beginner's Bee Book and Productive Beekeeping both of which were written before 1920, but now a century later, still available as relevant resources online today. And as I mentioned, backyard beekeeping is increasing in popularity in Iowa and across the nation as a hobby. And many of those folks use the same practices advocated more than a century ago by Iowa's resident expert on the topic, Frank Chapman Pellet, who was born on this date in 1879. How about that? So again, beekeeping uh, at its pinnacle. That's perfect. Now, do you, are, you, are you like beekeeping at all there, Jeff? Are you into that at all or not? Do you really, you know, in the time you've known me, do you think that I'm exactly <laughs> the kind of outdoorsy kind of guy? If I would be the guy who would have the best of intentions and you would then, it'd be like the cartoon where you would see the swarm of bees chasing me through the yard. No, I think beekeeping. Is, I think beekeeping is fascinating. I really oh, do. It is. Yeah, and it I, is, I feel and, like and more people are picking it up right. here recently. And you know, I, as you have, I've done interviews with people on the topic, and it is safe. It is right. uh, a wonderful way to, uh, you know, develop a bond with nature, derive the honey right from the source. I mean, right. it's a wonderful thing. And yet, I still imagine myself being chased like the cartoon. <laughs> I'm with you, Professor. Yeah, I, yeah, I just see them coming yeah, after me. Yeah, yeah here's, exactly. Jeff, here's Jeff Stein's beekeeping. Okay, you go to the state fair, you go to the second floor of the ag building, and you watch the bees fly in, right? That's, that's it. Or uh, Jeff Stein's uh, philosophy of beekeeping is go to the farmer's market and get a little jar of honey that somebody is selling you. That, that, I'm right there with you, Professor. Yeah. I, I love the products they create. I just uh, don't want to be a part of the process. But I think even our own Michelle here in right. studio, she uh, is handy at doing Big time, things. yeah. yeah she's trying to like get that, us set so. up with that. That's the reason we ask. We're trying to get set up with uh, a hive over in our yard. To so see we'll, we we'll let you know when that's all set up, Professor, so you can come on and over. And then Jackie can take a film of me being chased by bees, okay? <laughs> I would so... Follow that on the social media <laughs> and repost it. Uh, that that would be trending quickly in my world. All right. So people want to go back and, uh, and visit with what we were talking about here today and get some of the facts and figures. Where can they go? IowaAlmanac.com. We also preview on the Twitter machine every morning at Iowa Almanac. But the full story is at IowaAlmanac.com. That works. All right. Uh, there you have it. Thank you so much, sir. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. All right. Stay cool. All right. You too. It's